against the Steelers when they played down in Houston. Damian Pierce is in the backfield. He gets the pitch. Trying to get somewhere. Not much since a guy who's already been active. We'll talk more about him. Let's go down to Missy Matthews on the sideline who has more on Deshaun Elliott. Missy. Little Steelers fan. That's in Dallas, Texas. And that is Deshaun Elliott when he was young. His first youth football team to be here with Mika Fitzpatrick. That's a cool story. Big influence there. Thank you, Missy. And now Stroud throws Ohio State to Ohio State. He was a fourth-round pick this year. And the Big Ten tight end of the year, gain of seven. He's looking to pick up where he left off last year. 101 tackles, two and a half sacks. And he, you're pairing him up to get the start next to him. All right, third and five now. Steelers trying to dig in and get the ball back for Justin Fields. Schultz, their starting tight end. Nothing called there. It was Deshaun Elliott in coverage. Nice job of Elliott on the outside here. Stroud wanted to go up, just lays one up deep, trying to get. Yep. That's one of those that could have been called, didn't call, but Elliott was there on top of him. And now you're looking at Tommy Tatted there. Really good player for them, and he signed a nice deal with the Texans in the offseason. And that's Quez Watkins, a newcomer to Pittsburgh. Bounds in with a good their 20-yard line to take over for the second possession of the game. Justin Fields, three for three in the first. You start on the right side. He'll be over there. We'll see what he can do. And Mike Tomlin wants to see multiple line changes here. Not to say that this is the order of what's going to happen. Bridge Pickens along with Van Jefferson, number 11 in the game. And again, a fumble exchange there. Fields lose it. It's Pete Herbig, I should say, and Justin Fields. And Mike Tomlin doesn't like to see that at all, especially in the first two series. He's not happy about that when it happened in training. I'm wondering if humidity, I'm wondering if sweat, all of that is playing a factor right now and why the quarterback center exchange is not happening. And they still got four yards out of it, but that's a dangerous thing. And Nate Herbig is having a rough go of it so far. I'm not sure exactly what the situation is. Much. Arthur Smith loves it. Fields scrambles, gets a couple of yards, but it's going to be short at first down yard. You're setting up a third pursuit. Nothing downfield as he's rolling out there to the right. And you can see him using his legs, something he does take that away from him. He wants him to just go out there and play his type of ball. And he wants to see him in the pocket, efficiently making passes. You slay hopefully next week when Buffalo comes to town. Still nursing that calf injury. Third and four now as Fields operates from those down. And that is Daniil Hunter, their free agent signing from the Vikings. Two-year, 49 minutes. He's coming off the top of your screen right there. Man-to-man -man coverage by the Texans on the back end. Cause Fields to hold the ball. And that was Troy Faltano. He got around. The rookie got a lesson right off the bat by a guy who's been a four-time running. Stephon Diggs, we have a penalty flag on the near side. Dell takes the punt, and he's going to have some running room to the near in something here. A lot of exchanges going on down there. Charlie, was it late? You see, as the ref was coming in. Was there going to be another flag thrown? He was looking for his hat, so it's going to be interesting to see with the referees as they get together what they call. One, but Tank Dell's a guy who also came on strong last year. Third round pick, 47 catches, seven touchdowns. They had a Stefan. Flair going out, bounds on the kick. From Brady to the kicking team. Hayward, 15th year in the NFL. Those guys obviously are not playing tonight, but we will see some people in there tonight. And you see uh, Nick Herbick in there as well, number 51, who had a big season as a rookie. Number one, Stephon Diggs, is as well as Tank Dell. And the handoff goes to Damian Pierce. And Pierce doesn't get much yardage there. Impact players presented by Nissan. Keanu Benton in his second year, big things expected. Jason Wilson, the third round pick. This area, Joey Porter Jr., a wonderful rookie season. They brought in Dante Jackson in a trade for Deontay Johnson to compliment Eric, ACC Defensive Player of the Year. They're expecting big things. Pursuit on Stroud. Nick Herbert shows you the excel very quickly. That's what they want to see from Herbert right here, making sure he doesn't lose off of that. Did a nice job right there bringing down Stroud. He really did, and that's not an easy assignment because Stroud could move in addition to passing. Intentional grounding rule. Right. You know, that's, that's, that's a change this year that we'll talk about. There are a few changes here, as we see now. A way into the end zone, eluding tacklers for the touchdown. It's C.J. Stroud to Tank Dell, 30. Stroud knows exactly where he's going right here on the skinny post right there. They're in zone. When you hit that ball on time, he's expecting help underneath. When that doesn't happen... Puts a lot of stress on your safety right there with Kai Kate. Former fourth-round pick of Baltimore. 
And so now it's Kai Fairbairn, who's been very good uh, out of Houston. Good. Houston. The connection leads 7 to nothing. We'll be right back. Thank you. Plumley is one of the guys back. Jonathan Ward, the other. Danny Smith watching this, and you should too. Again, you can't do anything. He's trying to make a move. He's an athletic runner. Flag flies on the return. He gets to the third, close to the 30 yard line, about the 27 yard. This is a tough play because once the runner goes past you. During the return, illegal block in the back, number 29 of the receiving team. Correction, holding number 29 of the receiving team. Brian Watts. One of the rookies on the Steeler football when he was down at Central Florida. 34 career passing touchdowns, but 28 career rushing touchdowns. He's just trying to find a way to the practice squad. West Virginia now at center after those two exchange problems for the Steelers between Fields and Herbig. Najee Harris up second and four coming up for the Steelers. We also saw Troy Faltano on that first series. And he's uh, going to see that, Charlie. You're going you're to find out against first teamers like that just how quick it is in the NFL. You can see Frazier right there on the double. Also in the game is Mason McCormick, number 66. And now Pickens on a sidearm. Yards when it looked like, actually nine yards, when it looked like that was well diagnosed by the Texans. Eric Murray finally makes the play. A little sidearm. The hit upside, inside those numbers right there. As it's pushed outside, there's not a lot of room out there because you have the extra defender, which is the... Jefferson remaining in the game at wide receiver. Mason McCormick is an interesting story, too. A fourth-round pick in the last two years. Here's Fields with time. Fires over the middle, and he has his man, Van Jefferson, and that... And this is what happens when you get the running game going. Play action fake to the left. Fields able half boot to the right. He's working a corner out right injury the past few years, but when he gets going, this guy can play. Jalen Warren now in the game. Michael Pruitt, number 81, also in the game for the Steelers now. New set of downs right at midfield, trailing 7 to nothing. Right there and taken down. The uh, Houston Texans and Derek Neal Hunter. And they also have some pretty good guys in the secondary. So it's going to be a team to reckon with. They won the South. Nobody like C.J. Stroud. You better believe expectations are a lot higher. A uh, gain of only one yard right there. Gets him there. Depending where they spot it, looks like a first down indeed for Jalen Warren. Kalen Bullock, the rookie out of U.S. He's right there. He's able to open up that hole, and once he gets his hands on you, there's no getting away from that. Nice job by Jones. Or he's a veteran, and George Pickens likes what he sees right there. As you can see, a little salsa dance. That's one thing Arthur Smith. And Fontana with a nice block right there. As he drove somebody back. That's a gain of four yards, but it looked more impressive. As he received this pitch here, you... You thought it was going to be bigger than what it was, but I just like the big fella out in space. Fire, fire moves out there. Big little cover in the manner being able to pick up four. And if you're able to do that consistently on second down, it opens up your entire playbook. Runner pass. And Fields again delivers. Outside pass. It's right there, and it is incomplete. Van Jefferson was the man over there making that reception. Pretty good coverage. To make that play. The ball's out in front. That's an easier completion. Uh, he had looked like he got both feet in there, didn't he? There. That's a toe there. You, that should be... Uh, Mike Tomlin's not going to challenge it. We should also tell you that on Fields under pressure, he's going to go down in the pocket. Good pressure by the Texans right there, and that results in another loss. There have been several of those. And the Texans, they love to get in your face, playing man-to-man, -man, not allowing those easy routes to get off the line of scrimmage. You could just... Involved in that, and special teams... Right now, we've seen an 18-yard punt return for them, a 27-yard punt return. Cameron Johnston's punt is on an 8-yard line, and that's where the Texans will go to work. 35 yards on that punt with no return. I mean, he's consistent inside the 20, getting the ball inside the 10-yard line, and he feels if they can do that on position, and you can see Johnston right now, which they love, the consistent football that he'd been punting in training camp out with that touchdown pass to Dell of 34 yards did what he had to do first opportunity and this is Damian Pierce handoff goes nowhere the other's leg was never a question it was just the consistency of his kicking right and that's that that was that's why a change was made and Presley continues his career so second out and now and Keanu Benton went off you can tell he was the Steelers a guy who's just year after year somebody who contributes Mills goes down. 
Robert Woods was the intended receiver. Porter was all over him. That's the one thing about Joey Porter. He's going to be all over you. And the foul. Automatic first down. To the right there. He's in the face here. Keep his hands on him. He's trying to locate the football. Can't do it. But that left arm right there. Referee will call that every time. Buffalo Bills. Second round pick way back in 2013. Has since been with the Rams and Titans. He's been a big play. They got a lot of good receivers. Gain of a couple of yards there for Damian Pierce. Quite as much, but now kind of reemerged as a guy they they want to utilize. He is, and they're trying to establish the run game there. You can see big for tackles. It's part of the rotation with Benton there, and he's looking for more playing time this year. Xavier Hutchison. Hope to the tight end remains in the game. Second and eight. Mills with time. Slant overthrows Hutchison. This is the end of the first quarter. We have reached the end of the first quarter. Only score 34 yards. Seven to nothing. Steelers got some business coming up in the second quarter right here live on KDKN.